Well, uh, welcome to the 40th and final meeting of 2015 of the Rural Affairs, Climate Change and Environment Committee, although I think we'll all be meeting each other this afternoon in the Chamber. Before we move to the first item, I remind people to switch off their mobile phones. Um, members of the committee do use uh, their tablets for the digital format of papers today. Uh, agenda item one is the decision taking about uh, removing uh, the items five and six to take them in private. Uh, there are the consideration of correspondence regarding the SRUC and the committee's future work programme. Are we agreed to take those in private? Yes. Thank you. Agenda item two, subordinate legislation about the Community Right to Buy Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015-400. Um, and the Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 Consequential Modifications and Savings Order 2016 draft. We've been joined by the Minister for Environment, Climate Change and Land Reform, Dr Aileen MacLeod, and her officials. I welcome them all here, uh, Dr MacLeod, plus uh, David Thompson, the Head of uh, Community Land Team, and Angela Lawson, Solicitor. I wonder if uh, the Minister would care to speak to the instrument, please. Yeah, good morning, uh, Convener, and uh, I'm uh, pleased to be here uh, this morning to support the Committee's consideration of the Draft Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 Consequential Modifications and Savings Order 2016. The order is technical in nature and is necessary as a consequence of amendments to the Land Reform Scotland Act 2003 hence for the 2003 Act. They were made by the Community Empowerment uh, Scotland Act 2015, hence for the 2015 Act. And the two consequential amendments to the 2003 Act ensure that references to community for the purposes of the approval of and appeals about the right to buy land are properly defined in relation to community bodies. Now, prior to the 2015 Act, the only form that community bodies could take in order to make a right to buy application was a company limited by guarantee. Now, the types of body constituting community bodies have been extended by Section 37.4 of the 2015 Act to include Scottish Charitable Incorporated uh, Organisations, SCIOs, and Community Benefit Societies, uh, BENCOMs. The amendments to the 2003 Act ensure that the new types of body which have been included are subject to the same legislative provisions uh, companies limited by guarantee in the community right to buy uh, regime. Now, these are minor technical changes. Additionally, these consequential modifications are not to apply in relation to approvals or appeals which are related to an application to register an interest in land made prior to the 15th of April 2016. The savings provision at Article 3 of this instrument achieves this, and this is in line with the general uh, commencement and savings of the provisions in Part 4 of the 2015 Act, which modify Parts 2 and 4 of the 2003 Act and are laid down in the Community Empowerment Scotland Act uh, 2015, Commencement Number 3 in Savings Order 2015. Thank you. Do any members wish to make comments or whatever? Uh, yes, Graham Day. Um, just, just one question, Minister, in passing. I think in this, that there's an acceptance by the government there's a drafting error in it, and um, that I think there's a further acceptance that there could be an opportunity to provide clarity. I, I'm just wondering why, when the report and deadline is 18th of January, perhaps it wasn't amended and then brought forward? I understand that the drafting error that the member refers to is in the negative instrument rather mm. than in the affirmative. <laughs> in which case, um, do any other members have uh, any comments to make at the moment? No other members seem to wish to make any comments. Sorry, can we yes, could, could, I, could I just raise a point? I think, I think it's further to Graham Day's point, but it does strike me that... Um, if not errors, the, the, the way this instrument has been drafted is going to have to lead to at least two other instruments being brought forward, um, which strikes me as a rather unsatisfactory way to be going about bringing secondary legislation to the Parliament. And I just wonder if there's any comment to make as, as to whether that could have been avoided. 
Happy to pass to Angela Wilson. Um, we note your concerns and we noted the concerns of the DPLRC as well. Um, we are going to lay one instrument, which is a very short amending instrument, to take into account um, a date which was incorrect in the negative instrument. So that's um, the Community Right to Buy Scotland Regulations 2015. Um, we do apologise for that typographical error. Um, it will be a very simple instrument that will amend it, and it has um, allowed us to take the opportunity to alleviate concerns of the DPLRC on a couple of other points as well. So at the end of the day, the um, legislation on the statute book will be better for it. Could I just continue that a little bit, Karina? Because, uh, I mean, thank you, thank you for that. Um, I mean, I think there's, there's one further instrument brought forward to change the date from 20th April 2015 to 2016, which I'd absolutely agree is a very simple one. But I think I'm right in saying there is not another... I think I'm right in saying there's another one to be brought forward to clarify... Um, sorry, to specify the balloter as the person to whom the documents must be provided? Is that, will that be done in the same instrument? Yeah, we can actually do right. everything in, in one instrument rather than take up more um, committee and parliamentary time, so that will all be wrapped up in one. The only reason I raise this is I think we've all become aware of the amount, number of instruments we're going to have to be dealing with Indeed. between now and the end of the Parliament. Indeed. And any fewer would be welcome. Yes. So. And, and actually we, we um, tried to push this package of community empowerment instruments through early, and we're working quickly in order to do so um, to try to avoid the glut of instruments that's going to come towards um, election time. And also with the Land Reform Bill, you will have a lot of um, work ahead of you. I think we're well aware of that. <laughs> thank, you. thank you very much. Well, thank you. Could I press the Minister to make sure that we actually have them in the first week of uh, January? I am happy to do that. Um, because it would help us enormously if that's at all possible. If at all possible. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so, Minister, do you wish to wind up? I'm happy to wind up. Okay, right, fine. Um, in that case, we move to the debate on agenda item three. And uh, this is the third item today to consider motion S4M 15152 asking for the committee to recommend approval of the Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 Consequential Modifications and Savings Order 2016 draft. Although we've taken evidence on the Community Right to Buy Scotland Regulation 2015 SSI 2015 400, this is a negative instrument and will be considered as item four in the agenda. So the motion is that uh, the Rural Affairs, Climate Change and Environment Committee recommends the Community Empowerment Scotland Act 2015 Consequential Modifications and Savings Order 2016 draft be approved. Are we all agreed? Yes. We are all agreed and therefore we indicate our support for this. Oh yes, yeah, sorry, but the Minister, had, well, sorry Minister, you better formally move the motion. Yeah, formally moved. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, members wish to speak? No. In that case, um, Minister to wind up? No. Okay, I put the question, and the question is that the motion S4M 15152 in the name of Aileen McLeod be approved. Are we all agreed? We are agreed, and we record the result and thank Aileen McLeod and her officials. Oh, it is near the end of the term, isn't it? Indeed. Thank you very much. Uh, the fourth item today in the agenda is for the committee to consider four negative instruments. One, the Seed Potato Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 395. The Seed Potatoes Fees Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 396. The Animal Byproducts Miscellaneous Amendment Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 393. And the Community Right to Buy Scotland Regulations 2015 SSI 2015 400, as previously mentioned. Last week, the committee considered the Animal Byproducts Miscellaneous Amendment Scotland Regulation 2015 SSI 2015 393 and agreed to seek further information from the government on this. And we now have this response. I refer members to the paper. Are there any comments, members? Um, yes, I Mike Russell. Raised the issue of the uh, animal byproducts. Uh, well, I've read the letter, which <laughs> I have to say it doesn't fill me with conviction that the uh, that is, is as it is said. But as I cannot prove to the contrary, I, I, I'm not prepared to do any more. But I would have liked to have seen some more substantive evidence. Firstly, that those of my constituents who operate fish farms in 
uh, Garen Butte um, have been wasting money by not going into by going to landfill, and secondly, the opportunities to go to landfill are so great that no problems will occur therein. Should any such problems occur, I shall be the first to bring it to the attention of the government. But we'll see what happens. I'm sure you'll raise a stink. Indeed. <laughs> Well, basically, are there any other comments on any of these uh, SSIs? Claudia Beamish. Uh, thank you, Convener. I'd just like to comment on the um, SSI on um, seed potatoes, just to highlight how important it is that there is clarity on these issues in relation to, um, to the very difficult situation of farmers who are, are in that sector and also um, uh, in relation to clarity for export. I just wanted to highlight that. Okay, thank you. Any other comments just now? Um, if that's so, then um, I ask the committee, are we agreed that it does not wish to make any recommendations in relation to each of these instruments? We are agreed. Thank you very much. And thank you, Minister, for attending. Um, future meeting details. Uh, the next meeting, uh, Perhaps on the 13th of January, we will take evidence on the Scottish Government's Wildlife Crime Scotland 2014 Annual Report and consider a draft of our budget report. As this is the last meeting of the committee this year, I thank members for their contributions to the committee's achievements over the last 12 months. And on behalf of the committee, thank everyone in the gallery, ministers, um, Spice, uh, the official report uh, and everyone who's helped to make this committee work so well. Um, I wish everyone a Merry Christmas and the very best for 2016. And I now close the public part of the meeting and ask for the public gallery to be cleared. <laughs>